Aloha and welcome to Maui. We are staying at the Maui Beach Hotel. Uh, it's about a seven minute drive from the airport. Uh, we chose this location based off of availability and location. Most of the excursions that we're doing are either on the east side or the west side of the island. And it's, we picked this because it's in the middle. We didn't want to have to drive two hours this way, two hours back, two hours that way, two, so we didn't want to deal with that. So we're in the middle. So we're about an hour and a half to the end of each way. So um, it's centrally located. Um, so let's go check out the hotel. If you travel as much as me, you know that finding a hotel with a laundry room is very hard. So here at the resort, they actually have three washers and three dryers, and it's reasonably priced. It's only two fifty dollars a load, uh, which is about half of what you find in other places if you can even find anything. So definitely a plus, and they have detergent and fabric softener stuff ready for purchase as well. The resort has a pool upstairs right by the dining hall uh, on the back side. So it also has a uh, handicap lift. So it can pull if you're, if you can't go down the steps, it can put you into the water and pull you out of the water. So that's really cool. And then the dining options here, they have breakfast and dinner. Uh, they also have a bar in there at dinner time. So they can give you uh, some drinks if you want as well. Uh, another thing I like, like last night, Hughes and I came out here and we're sitting by the fire pits and we're talking to some of the other guests. So it was a nice little ambiance. Now what's funny is 
I want to show you this thing. It's called a Hawaiian weather station. So check this out. This stuff is fun. thing that I like about here is they have these little pods they got two on each side that you can just hang out into they provide Sun they're like little cabana beds but dome like an egg they also have the gazebo you can hang out and on the other side of the gazebos about eight or ten chairs you can sit it down and just watch the water now this is called the Maui Beach Hotel so we're gonna go check out the beach so you can see what they have for beach here at the beach hotel If you're looking for the white sand and the clear water, you're not gonna find it here. They have a jetty out there, so it breaks down some of the waves. So if you have young children, this would be a great place for them to play without waves and things like that. Or if you just wanna deal with water and not have the waves and, and whatnot, this would be great for you. Now the water is not clear because of the ship traffic, it turns up the sand. Uh, if you look back over here, there's no ship there, but uh, the other day, a uh, Norwegian cruise line ship was parked there. The other, uh, and then yesterday there was a big uh, container ship coming out of there. So this is really a, a shipping terminal that the beach is tied off of. But you can still see some of the, the bottom of the, the sand is clear, but you're not gonna have that crystal clear look because of this, the ships turning up. Like right now, it's a lot clearer than it was yesterday. Yesterday there were some ships traveling around. So if there's no ships, it's actually it looks pretty clear. So let's go check it out. That is a hundred thousand times better than what it was uh, last night when we came down here to, to check out the water. It's not the blue turquoise that you'll find at other beaches, but it looks relatively clean. I am now a little bit more impressed. I was feeling a little down yesterday when I came out here. where we were just at a lagoon call that lagoon one they also have another little lagoon right here now what's interesting is over there no shells I didn't come over here yesterday because I saw the water I was like whatever but this is the first beach I've been to in Maui that actually has shells the other beaches I've been to uh, they haven't had any shells yet we're gonna go to some more beaches today and check them out but as of right now this is the first place you can actually walk around and pick up some shells as you can see in the videos, the grounds are very well manicured. It's very nice to see that. The palm trees are trimmed up. All the shrubs are shrubbed. All the bushes are bushed. I don't know if that's real terms. They work for me though. But uh, it's very beautiful. 
the hotel is very old I'd say it's probably built in the 50s maybe 60s but they are keeping up on it and today when I was walking around doing the videos I couldn't go into some places because the staff was cleaning you know like the fitness center they're in there cleaning the fitness center uh, the pool was being cleaned dining room was being cleaned halls were being cleaned this is a very clean place uh, they also have a Hertz rental car facility here so if you want to get a rental car they've got some available here for you as well um, if I had to pick some bad stuff like my room it faces the street so I hear police sirens and cars thumping and loud exhaust all day and night when I'm in the room and we're in 272 now on the first floor I don't remember the room number one of the exit doors swings shut so if you're not careful it'll swing shut and make a really loud bang so I'd hate to be by that room because you're not gonna know until the first time it happens so now we're just cognizant of it and shut it slowly but uh, it's not a bad hotel not a bad hotel at all I would probably stay here again um, but that weather station is pretty cool like right now the coconuts moving a little bit so it's just a little windy and it's dry so it's sunny so it's amazing how accurate a coconut can be huh probably more accurate than the local weather person space for you and with the dining facility I'm sure they can cater as well the resort fee is free is $20 but it includes free parking free Wi-Fi uh, the drink station you get a water bottle so you can fill up the water bottle uh, it's nice it's actually the water bottle not one of those little bag bladder things that you get for like high end so 20 bucks a day I'm not really using anything but if I stay in another hotel I'd have to pay for Wi-Fi maybe I'd definitely have to pay for parking so it balances out and you can rent, not rent, but you can use uh, a bunch of board games and things like that and play in the pool uh, table area. So they accommodate pretty well here. Mm -hmm. 